Hello, welcome back to Bloodborne for Beginners. I'm Stephen H., your host and guide, and this is part two of Hemlock Charnel Lane. We are going to uh, go past, go to this bridge. Okay, so you want to draw this lady out here. Um, you really don't want to do any sort of fighting on that stupid bridge. I can't tell you how many times I have died uh, trying to get past that bridge. Um, because there's a giant friend. So, actually, I like to, uh, come on, come on, come on, friend. Please note, I might die. Yeah! Or I might not. And down he goes. Goodbye. That doesn't look like there's a, there's a bottom there it looks like the world just kind of gives way that's unfortunate oh well so uh... so here here we are um... there's gonna be a lady who throws molotov somewhere there it is she throws them out from the uh... Off of the thing. we're gonna kill here kill her there's gonna be a dog comes out uh... I'm out here to surprise us there he is and then we're gonna kill him and uh, oh Jesus Christ there's another one since when was there another one anyway so apparently there are two two women here that you need to be aware of um, I guess I just run through it normally and so I I, I don't encounter them um, okay all right so we're gonna climb this ladder and um, and normally, if you had advanced the night, uh, i.e. If, uh, if you were a dumb, dumb boy, um, then there would be a mad, uh, a mad one that you had to deal with in this room. However, uh, we are smart boys, and, uh, boys and girls and uh, others, if you're, uh, if you're, uh, if you identify that way, I suppose. Um, uh, so we're smart. And we have not advanced the night yet, and so yeah, that's uh, I'm done with that. All right, so you come into this room after crossing the rafters, and you hear the those the, the creaky deeks of a of a of a wheelchair. That's right around this corner. Here. Kill him, so he doesn't kill you. And now we take the item that he was guarding. Ooh, sweet sweet madman's knowledge. Alrighty. Can't tell if this is a barn or a farmhouse, because it has it, it has a, like it has tables like a farmhouse would, um, and like drinking bottles and such. But it also has like other stuff like a like a barn would. Anyway, I'm not gonna work. look. What's a desk doing in this barn? What is a desk doing in this barn? Anyway. Any hooza. So, there's an edge right there, right? Right. And there's also a hammer woman waiting right around that corner. So, don't be fooled. Don't let her surprise you. Don't. Let, certainly do not let her uh, push you off the cliff there. A little. Um. So. Come on down the, to the rooftops. And we're <laughs> lots of lots of crazy women around here. Um, what is this one? Cold blood do. All right. Ooh, I wonder if I can bait the giant to come through the fire. Hello. Hey, man. Excuse me. She, she did. Hello, sir. Can, can, will you come around the fire? Ow. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's enough. Ow. What? No. That's enough. What? Why are you not visceraling? This is not okay. There you go. I've had enough of you, sir. 
Okay. Whew. That was a pain. Right, we're gonna fight the Dogo first. Then we're gonna fight Miss uh, Miss Molotov over here. Oh, down she goes. Um, I don't think. Oh my! Hello. So, be aware that there's a woman around the corner. I guess. Uh, truthfully, I don't really enter this uh, this particular building very much. Usually, I just go right down the uh, right down the ledge, and so I'm oh. Christ. I hate those guys. Thankfully, though, they cannot enter the building. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna run right on past them. Here we go, running, 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 and there it is. We're gonna unlock this here, unlock this here, uh, shortcut, get our cold blood, and let's see if we can't single out this, uh, single out this, this uh, executioner. Now, these guys are the are a pain in the ass to fight. So instead of actually fighting them, just this with them. It's 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 not worth it to try and to try and fight them normally. Just visceral them. Um, ooh, hello, lady. You uh, find that wall interesting there? She was watching the wall, I guess. All right, we're gonna we're gonna say hi to this other executioner. Nope, he's gonna say hi to us, I guess. Hello. Oh jeez, I'm not good at the at fighting these guys. They wreck me every time. That's the one. There it is. Nope, you're not supposed to get up from that, sir. Okay. So, let's uh let's actually go over here first. So that the uh the dogos don't uh well, actually no. Let's uh let's fight the dogos in the lane. Here we go. I really don't like the sound. That's a lot of dogos. Don't don't be bad. Just kidding. Don't 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 freak out, is what I meant to say. <laughs> and remember, if you feel like it, shoot. There's one go to the left. He uh he has a uh, he has an executioner friend. They're cuddling. Okay, I think that's all Mr. Executioner, what are you doing? Look at him. He's he's sitting up. No, no, lay down. Lay down. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Sleep now. I think that's all the dogos. If not, there's like one more. Yeah, there's one more. There he is. Hello, sir. Mr. Lois Blood Tinge Defense in the game. Now, dodge right into it. All right. So that's all the enemies um, in in this particular uh, lane. Um, and now, if I wasn't bad, then we could go over here and get this here lake room. Yeah. All right. So now. We are going to go back up the lane, finish off some enemies, and uh, and get us to the boss room. And uh, and that's going to be a fun time. Because I think there's one more executioner that we have to fight. And there is. There he is. There's the smart boy. Now, as you can see, this is a very enclosed space. Um, and... You're supposed to uh, come in here and uh, try and... Ow, he has a spin attack of his own. So, um, the game wants you to, to go in there and have to uh, have to fight him in a closed space and get wrecked. 
don't get wrecked, attack him once and then come on out. Heal. Come right into your waiting, whatever you use to kill him. Oh, that's not a doorway. Okay. I feel like I'm getting worse and worse at this game as I progress on with the, uh, with the tutorial. But that's okay. Yeah, it is. What's my fault, by the way? Oh, yeah. Okay. So. And now we are in the boss area. Or, well, I mean, we're kind of in the boss area. Right before... Oh, hello. Give me your body. Yeah. No, come. Stop it. I'm definitely getting worse as the game progresses. <laughs> anyway, so um, so here we are at the boss room. If you uh, go in there, you will uh, be greeted by the Witches of Hemwick. And we will talk to them next episode. I, uh, I hope you are enjoying this uh, 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 kind of abbreviated um, episode length. I, uh, I, I definitely find it easier to, uh, to narrate for, um, but yeah, that's, that's Hemwick Charnel Lane, um, once again, not much to it, or at least not as much as there was, uh, to other areas, like Old Yarnum and, um, and Central Yarnum. Um, one last comment I have is that this area is optional, um, like a lot of areas in the game, um, it's optional, um, but the game makers do intend for you to go here. Uh, meaning, if you're wanting to just run through the game as fast as you possibly can, you can go and just kill Vicar Amelia. Uh, however, if you uh, want to be pro uh, appropriately scaled, uh, appropriately leveled, um, then come here and... Um, and uh, kill the witches of Hemwick. Um, yep, that is uh, that's uh, that's it for this video.